Welcome to Low Ride Gaming, my name is Lars, and we are playing Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. So we've uh, freed one of the maidens that have been kidnapped to this world. <clears throat> Where to next? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is gonna be long. Okay, uh, we've done one. Should we do them in order then? Guessing that is a good idea because we suddenly get new abilities and stuff. So, this episode we will go down to the south and uh, release whoever's down there. Okay, let's see where to next. Through here then, I guess. Through the pumpkin patch. Ignore all of these people. There are not people, just weird creatures. I mean, they could be people. I mean, we turned into a bunny the first time we went into the dark world, so who knows? Right, can we swim in the murky waters, I wonder? Ugh! Oh, man. Stop it. It appears we cannot. Oh, can we? Yeah, we can. Can we swim all the way there, though? Let's check out the map. Yeah, we can. No, we can't, because <laughs> we're going a different place. Okay, so... Oh, let's get back up. All right, I'm guessing we can hit those purple pegs with our hammer, at least. First, we have to hit this little pike man. There we go. Hammer time. Nice. Oh! Hmm. Interesting. Right, what does this one say? This way to the bomb shop. Well, don't mind if I do. Unless it's along to the bomb shop. Oh, we're going that way anyway. So, to the bomb shop. Guess this is it. What in the other world is our house? In the middle of the light world. Ooh, huff and puff. 100 rupees for 30 bombs. 30 bombs for just 100 rupees. Please buy them, mister. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You got some bombs. You can pick and throw a bomb that you have placed. <clears throat> Onwards we go. Oh man. Now we lost our ability to use ranged attacks. There we go. Let's see, check out the map again. Yeah, we are on course. Oh, there are so many enemies that we don't care about. Okay, let's just keep going down. Oh, and up again. And then down again. Uh-oh. It's like I've stepped on a mine or something. Right, here we are. Is this the place? No, we are way off. Way off. What can we find down here, though? Nothing. Okay. Ah, here we are. Oh! Run away! Right, cool. New dungeon. And a little intercom. Can we talk between to the other world, though? Magnus, it is I, Sahasrala. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. It will have... No, if the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Hmm... Guess that means ladders, for example. And the bugs up there, I'm guessing those are the things that heal me normally, maybe. But okay. Um Can't move this thing around. Does this mean that we're supposed to 
jump between worlds, because last time we tried to use the mirror, we were just transported back to uh, the entrance and stuff. Yeah, and as we have now. If, if we go out again, though, and then use the mirror, so now we're back in the light world, and then we go back into the dungeon. Yeah, because this is, is the thing that we... Uh... Oh, here we go. Bombs! We've got some bombs! What we want, though, is to, uh, to go through. Is there a way we can do that? Right, let's... Uh, <laughs> oops. Let's go a bit further down before we use the mirror, then. Right, here we go. Um, if we push this and that, here we go. Now it can go through. All right, and there's the draining of the lake and stuff. Ow. Oh, bombs. Ugh. Okay. And we can't use the mirror here. Anyway, let's uh, go out. See, maybe that changed something in the dark world. Yeah, it did. Now we can swim around. Cool. Okay, so we can't go that way anyway, because uh, there's a little waterfall and stuff. We can't just swim up that. But now we can get up here. Hmm. Let's change to some ranged weapons, which is a good idea anyway, so that we don't accidentally transport back to the cave entrance just because we press a button. There we go. A shadow of some kind. Water ghost. Okay, there's a key. Let's just continue before we get killed by the, the water bender ghosts. There we are. Oh! More bombs. Oh, and another key. And more bombs. Oh, 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 oh. Right, here we go. Run away before we die. And you. The new and improved tactic. Oh my god. Blah. Shit. Oh. Here we go. Long last. He's gonna explode or something? No. Right. Never mind. Here we go. Key. No key. Can't push that thing. Okay, so here we need to... Here we need to flood some more, I guess. Key? Yeah, key. Look, what's that thing? That's a very big... Either key or hammer. Right. Um, now we're allowed to go through, so that's something. Close. Okay. Uh, whack a mole. What is this thing? Huh. Oh, hold on. Ah! It's a switch. Cool. And now we can swim. Secret door. Let's uh, bomb, bomb this wall. Right, so just 
Just some minor items. Never mind. Here we go. Round and round. Into the little puddle. Oh, things in the water. Stay away, things in the water. Okay, we need the big key, eh? It's locked. If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. Well, we don't. We don't have the big key. Right, bombs. Let's change to arrows. Oh. Oh, man. These things are so weird. Right, let's try this way first. Bottom left. Oh, look out. Oh, pick up that heart, please. Yep. Nice. Okay, so we need to find one of those switches to uh, drop these uh, barriers, the blue barrier. Um, where can we find that, I wonder? Let's see, can we go through here somehow? No. Perhaps we have to flood this thing and swim over it. Yeah, looks like it. Found a key, at least. Can't be pushed. Can't be pushed. Alright. Then we will go back to the previous room and see what's up. What's up? Right. Um, yeah, we have key, but not big key. So, this is a door with a keyhole. Turn that. Flood that place. Here we go. Oh, we can go down. Alright, we can go straight through. Good. Woohoo! Progress. My favourite thing in the whole world. Mm, let's see. Oh, monsters in the dungeon. Oh, it's Slime Blob. It's the first time I've seen. How interesting. Oh, look out for the spikes. Skeletons. What, oh, can't you shoot? You have to actually enter the room. Oh. Right, screw that. Hmm. Oh, that was a close one. Right. Ugh, water spirit. Oh, we're out of ammo now. Ah, so we can't shoot anything else with the bow and arrow. Right. Oh, this time we can move things. There we go. See, they're trying to trick us. Trying to fool us every time. <coughs> Water world. All right, here we go. Things are gonna. Ah, oh, everything's gonna come for us in this room. Oh man. Oh, look out. Okay, so would it be safe to drop down here then? Let's find out. Let's not have the patience to stick around here. Okay. Uh, oh, so we need to change the polarity before we do. Before we drop down. Good to know. Need to drop red. Drop red, or in short, um, the opposite of its current state. Right, let's survive this place then. Oh, okay, drop down on this other side. Oh, so gonna die. 
There we are. Red Ruby. That's not what we wanted. We have to backtrack to change the switch then. Oh, wow. We are so dead. I don't want to be so dead. I want to live. I want to live forever. That beeping sound though is so annoying. It's like I, I get that I have low I'm low on health. I can see it. You don't have to constantly beep. Right, there we go. Where's our closest switch though? It's so back up here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oop. Boomerang! Since we don't have any arrows. There we are. Go back down. No, we can't go through here now. We should go the long way around. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's stick to the plan. Oh, look out. Beep, beep. Can't actually get through here, can we? Well, we'll find out. But I kind of have my doubts that we can get through. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, man. <laughs> The things that kill us. Secret passage! Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, we found the map. You can use it to see your current position and the rest of the dungeon. Great. Give some hearts, please. We don't need... Well, arrows. Actually, we do need. Right, there we go. Uh, what about this place? Can we get some hearts? Oh, man. We just lose hearts. That's what we do in this place. Right, here we go. Finally. Finally, finally. Since we've uh, maxed out our cash flow as well. So, gathering up more stuff is useless. You got the big key! This is the master key of the dungeon. You can open many locks, the small keys cannot. So we can finally get that big chest in the middle. Big boob. The big boob in the middle. Oh, you're gonna be annoying now. There you go. And... There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again, have enough cash. Ah, oh, annoying. Right, let's see if we can survive going back. There we go. for us to pick up. I'm gonna just lose the runs we have trying trying to get more. Right, here we go. Let's just get up here. Get the contents of the chest. Ooh. Boing! This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts and boing! It can grapple many things. That's cool. Hook shot. Can we grapple this? No. Ooh. Let's see. Have we been down here? No, we haven't. Heart. Ooh, help. Okay, let's stick to one direction. Not the band, just the general direction. There we go. Right, so this is just going in a circle. But we get hearts out of it. That's good. Ah! 
You found the compass. Now I can pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master. Let's check out the map. I actually haven't looked at the map that much. Okay, so... Okay. It's on our floor. Straight north. Okay, let's go find him. Kick his ass. Save the... save the maiden. Oh, look out! Oh man. These things are so annoying. All of these things are very annoying. Right, we can't get up there. Now, hold on, we can... Hook shot things. Can we hook shot things from here? Can we hook shot... Ah, oh, wow. The things we learn. Uh, we... We don't have a key. Damn it. Okay, so... Have to go back. We're probably gonna die just jumping down. No, here we go. Let's get up here and hook shot. No. Hook, hook shot. No. Fine. We'll go on this side instead and try to use the hook shot. There you go. No, no key here either. Where can we find our key then? Any of these bugs carrying a key? Oh. Ah! No. Okay, so up there, perhaps. If we get up here and use our hook shot. There you go. There's our key. But I don't want to jump down now because everything's going to shoot at me and kill me. Oh, man. Man, oh man, and we've, uh, yeah, we've, uh, removed those skulls now, so we can't actually hookshot over. So we need to reset anyway, might as well just die. There you go. There we go. Hookshot. And through we are. Um, right, let's go left first. The way is shut. It was closed by those who made it, or whatever. There you go. Oh, there's another statue on button thing. Puzzle. I wouldn't really call it a puzzle, but, you know, there you go. And we are through. Oh no, things are going to shoot. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. There we go. Let's do it right this time. See, we can just continue without killing any of them. There we go, going down. B2. Oh, seriously, you have to go to the other side to drain it. Ugh. That was annoying, but then again, should have expected that. Fine. Avoid all these things. Oh, this thing's back. Bye. Right. B2. Same thing applies here. We have to drain it before we uh, can get to these things. And in order to do that, we have to open this door. Does it open if we... No, it doesn't open if we get to the other pressure plate. But is there perhaps another pressure plate here? No, there is not. So what's... Um, how do we get that door open then? Let's try to do... Uh, 
Statue here. Oh, zap. Oh, zap again. So now we know. Okay, there we go. Push the statue onto the pressure plate. And then go to the opposite side of the room. And then just hope. Yeah, that works. Oh, oh man, I thought it was going to turn 90 degrees. He always does that. Anyway. Down we go. Heart, please. Just stop the beeping. There you go. And drain. Now I'm going to go up to those chests before we continue. Oh, come on. Cheers. Right. To the right. Oh, and then we have to go to the pressure plate again. Anyway, here we are. Well, maybe we don't have to go around and around. Maybe this will be a shortcut or something. Yep. Yeah. At least we got some life back. Okay. Oh. Okay, just things swimming around. So we should just continue then, I guess. Dead end. Loads of skulls. Oh man. Okay. We received a lot of bombs. Something was supposed to blow blow anything up. This thing, maybe? These things can't be pushed in any direction. Oh, look out. Oh, there you go. Just money. Don't want money. Want the exit. Right, there we go. Back to previous room, go right, and yeah, so, we're supposed to go where exactly, oh look out, <clears throat> am I, the hook shot, the, oh, uh, we're not selected the hook shot, here we go, can we hook shot the grate, we can't, Ah, here we go. Through the waterfall, of course. Good. Arms, arrows, and another heart. Still quite away from uh, having full health though, but there you go. Oh, blobs. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so they can walk on water. We can't. And we can't attack in the water either. Oh, man. Oh, you guys are so annoying. Okay, so we need to go back for the key. And now we're gonna die. Yeah. Thanks for that. <sighs> right, so here we are again. And I'm guessing the key then is under this oh, skull. Oh, come on. Swimming in this game is the worst. Like ice skating in other games. <sighs> Finally, we are at the door, but we're gonna die because swimming is difficult. <sighs> uh, yeah, and we have all the health in the world, of course, to defeat this boss. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Right, let's uh, drop some bombs. Maybe we need to use the hook shot. 
Yeah, there we go. And then... Whoa! Wow. Use the hookshot for his uh, shield device, I guess. You could call it. Oh man, look out. Oof. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, it's because it's a current. That's why it's so difficult to swim. There we go. Hook shots and swords. Stay away from his little attack, and then move up here. Kill another one of his shield buddies. Shield buddy. Jellyfish Cyclops creature. Hidden underneath. Right, there we go. So far it's not really difficult. It's just about staying away from this uh, circle of things and not be in the bottom when I'm hookshotting, obviously. There we go. Two more and then he's probably going to go batshit insane. There we go. And this one. Now what? Oh. He's going to stomp around. Oof. So it's going in a logical pattern, at least. Oh. No! It's not going in a logical pattern. Right. What to do then? Oh, man. Come on, blood man. Let's be done with it. Right, here we go. And then it's going to start jumping around again. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, but get down. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. And how many times do we have to do this? There you go. Nice. That's three times. Is it like five times or something? Four. Oh man, it keeps going. Oh, help. Six. And still going strong. Right. There you go. Seven. Jesus. Oop. Eight. Eight times to defeat him, but he's finally gone. Uh, not very exciting, boss. I like the mask. Mask boss from the last episode. Anyway, here we are. Yeah, another another maiden freed, I hope. So, tell me, who are you in there? Hello. Magnus, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. But at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. 
Luckily, you couldn't figure out how to return to the light world. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief, no, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Yeah, apart from that last sentence there, I understand. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce, who all the nerds all over the world have tattooed on their arm, including Magnus. Thank you for watching Lowbrow Gaming, I'm Lars, 